3D Monarch Butterfly Nail Mural Part 2 by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be showing you part two of my little 2018 mural entry. So it's all monarch butterflies and yesterday I showed you guys the background and if you missed that one there is a link to it in the description box below. Otherwise today is going to be the 3D butterfly which is my favorite element of this piece. It is it has a gold chrome powder over the top of the orange so it really shows up really iridescent and it looks kind of has that real butterfly appearance to it, at least to me. So I really like it. I hope you guys like it too. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, on a little post-it note, I'm going to be sculpt, or I'm going to draw out the shape of my butterfly wing. So just drawing that out and like I, as you can see, I kind of adjusted it and I did draw it with a pen, a black pen, because you need to make sure that the little drawing is intense enough that you can see it when you set a nail form backing over the top of it. So then set a nail form backing over the top of it and with clear acrylic I'm going to be sculpting out the shape of my wing. The reason I'm using clear acrylic is because it is a little bit stronger than the other kinds of acrylic and I intended to paint this anyway. Otherwise if you didn't want to use clear if you wanted to go straight and do all of the coloring with acrylic which is something that usually is what I would do then you would want to use orange acrylic with a little bit of red at the center. Not the center of the where the where the wings meet his body. So the center of the butterfly, not the center of the wing. Sorry, I should clarify that. So then I'm going to be sculpt. So I started with the, um, with the upper wing and then I'm going to be sculpting the lower wing and trying to keep a little bit of a difference between them. After that, it has completely dried. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to add just a little bit more thickness to the upper wing. Just so, like I said, it has a little bit of a, a thickness difference that you can see. So it's not just based on paint. It actually has some of that 3d difference on it. So then with orange paint, I'm going to go through and I'm going to be painting my wing. So I started out just adding, I used at least two layers, it might have even been three, of just orange paint over the top of the upper wing. And then you're going to blend a little bit of orange paint around the outside edge, which I can show you with this one. I, for some reason, did not record that on the upper wing. And then a little bit of yellow in the center, just kind of to brighten that up and just make it so it's not just one shade of orange. You want to have some different levels to it. Then apply a layer of Noep Top Coat to the upper wing. Cure that and then burnish in that gold chrome powder. The reason I'm doing this wing by wing is so that I have a little handhold. Then repeat that for the lower wing, burnish that in. After you have your entire butterfly wing completely gold chromed, I'm just going to remove the excess dust with a lint-free wipe. And then you're going to be applying gel sealer to the upper wing, cure it. Actually, no, this is matte gel matte gel top coat, sorry, not gel sealer, um, to the upper wing and then to the lower wing. Like I said in the last video, I was using a gel top coat that has no tacky layer on it, a matte gel that has no tacky layer, which I would highly recommend, especially when you're planning on painting on it or something like this, because it has a much better surface and you don't have to deal with cleansing it. So just keep that in mind. And then with black paint, I'm going to go through and add all of the details on my wing. So in the background, I did little white dots a lot in the this upper area that I just painted solid black on the wings. On this one, because I do have a lot more space and I have a lot more detail ability, I'm going to just take and add, there's a couple little orange dots. So instead of repainting them with orange, they wouldn't match as well. You're going to want to just outline them and leave those dots without black paint. And then add all of your details on the lower wing as well, kind of just filling it in. And I am definitely looking at a picture of a butterfly here. Try to make sure that you have a really clear, high quality image that you're looking at whenever you're painting anything like this, so that you have a very clear cut idea of what it of what your end result should look like. And that's just gonna make your your painting so much more realistic. And then go over all of your all those areas that need to be filled in with black with black paint. I'm using a larger brush here just to fill it in a little bit quicker. Um, if you want to, you can continue to use that little one, but it might just take a little bit longer. And then you're also going to actually need to add that really nice thick black line between the two wings. Even though you do have that difference in depth on your wing, that is going to still help. So then you're going to need to add those white dots that are still prevalent on that thicker black line. There are a lot of them, so just add a whole bunch of little white dots all throughout that area. And leave those orange ones just kind of as they are. Don't mess with those ones, the little orange dots. And then add the dots on the lower wing. Lots of little white polka dots. You're going to need to make two of these wings though, but make sure that they are opposite. So that one is facing one direction and one is facing the other direction. Then apply a layer of gel sealer over the top of your entire wing and cure it. Glue this onto your nail and you can really use the shape of the nails and the curvature of the nails to hold the wings at a nice open, open thing. So you want the center of the wings to kind of be in a crevice between two nail tips. 
and then secure the wings after they're glued in place like I said I do have two of them done with a little bit of clear acrylic just to make sure that nail glue I don't really trust nail glue it's not a super great hold so after you have it secured in the center you're also going to want to kind of fill in underneath the wings with some clear acrylic which I know is really awkward to see in the video but just kind of add a little bit of a guard underneath there a little bit of a extra a little bit extra and then with black acrylic I'm going to be adding his body and the black acrylic is just going to kind of go right down the center so place the bead down and then keep pushing it in from side to side it won't leave any residue on your wings really so you can just keep kind of just pressing it in from side to side and then add the next section of your butterfly so he needs his abdomen and his thorax so then just keep pressing it in same thing just kind of press it in side to side and also form his head at this point you don't need to add a separate bead for that you can just kind of create that out of that last out of the second bead and just kind of push it in and sculpt it that way poke two holes in his head which sounds really quite gruesome but poke two holes in his head with a dotting tool a really fine one or a needle and then use a piece of black thread for his antenna so then just take a little bit of glue glue the antenna in with the black just a little bit of black thread i really love to use thread for anything that needs to be antennas or insect legs or anything like that it works out really really well so that is what i'm doing there just with a little bit of that black thread and glue those in place i would also recommend after you have them glued in place like i said i don't trust nail glue to take a little bit more black acrylic and kind of fill in around them just to really hold them in place so they don't fall out you also are going to need to trim them in place they were significantly too long when i just started out but then like you said add a little bit more black acrylic over the head of the butterfly to hold those in place so now with diluted black paint or i mean diluted gray paint i'm going to be adding a little bit of a highlight down the body of my butterfly just so it's not so solid black but it has a little bit more dimension to it and then add the little details with white now just like how he's got those white polka dots on his wings he's got lots of white lines and white polka dots on his body so add all of those and the little white stripes down the very end of him and then go ahead and apply some gel sealer or matte gel top coat oh i'm always gonna say the wrong one matte gel top coat over the body of your butterfly and you are all done i absolutely love how the 3d butterfly turned out like i said in the first video i'm not super happy with the piece overall but i really like the 3d butterfly so i hope you like that part too and don't forget to check out part one if you did miss it and i'll see you in my next video bye